My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to the Darkest Rhapsody Estate here in the Darkest Dungeon. All right, so I've chosen my crew, and we are going to try and go out for the Miller. Um, I'm pretty certain here. Oh, do I take Godard instead? I mean, I'd only be taking Godard for the fact that you're natural. Plus three speed. How much is that going to matter? I mean, there are multiple rounds of combat here. The thing I'm thinking about is I've got both a Crusader and a Grave Robber here. And both of those have these battle long buffs that you can put on them. Toxin Trickery being one. Buff self plus nine dodge and plus two speed. Um, I mean, that's only at level one. I'm going to be able to upgrade it all the way to level four. And I can just do that once, and that'll be there for the entirety of the farmstead, because it all occurs in one room, right? With one just prolonged battle. Um, let's actually have a look at the provision screen, because the provision screen here has food. How do I know if I have to take food? Because last time I took food and I didn't need food, but uh, I'll probably end up taking some food. Anyway. I'm assuming we would have a single long fight and I'd be able to use those battle buffs. So I'm thinking maybe I also get Bulwark of Faith here. Let's have a look at the guild. 24. Oh, no. My plan was to get the Instructor's Mastery there as well as the armor smithing here, but I'm not going to have enough to actually get both the portraits and the same amount of deeds, right? Because... If I trade in all of those, I can get a maximum of two portraits, and I need, what, three? Is it three? No, I need more than that. Uh, and that needs 60 crests as well. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to have a quick look at a couple different things here, right? If that upgraded again, it goes from three to three to three. The next one's probably four. Ah, uh, fine. I need some more heirlooms before I can go out on that mission. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for portraits. I'm looking for deeds. I'm looking for crests. I'm not looking for busts. Right. Well, I guess my whole idea of what we're going to be doing with this episode is being screwed. I mean, I could just go on a long ruins mission. Yeah. Actually... Actually, yeah, so we'll just be still using the same party. Uh, and we won't even need to get their battle buffs. Um, I was thinking I would go with armor smithing. But increasing everyone's speed base would be pretty ridiculous. So weapon smithing and then upgrading everyone's weapon would be ridiculous too. We'll go weapon. A sharper sword, a stronger shield, anything to prolong a soldier's life. Is anyone going to get extra speed out of this? <laughs> No. <laughs> All right. You can see why I needed to bank this much money because we are spending a hell of a lot of it right now. All right. Good odd. Get rid of your bad humors. Pinel, you are an Eldritch Slayer as well as an Eldritch Hater. I really feel like Eldritch Slayer, Eldritch Hater, and probably even On Guard should get locked in. Um, probably first the Eldritch Hater. Evelyn, how are you? You do have a fear of Eldritch, which is pretty bad. On guard is not necessarily necessary on you. Unyielding is not bad for a Vestal, though. Keep them alive so they can keep up with other people alive. Yeah, first has got to be that fear of Eldritch. Yeah, you can see why it's not actually true that I have so much money that I can just start ignoring everything else. And then I don't think I'll be changing any of your skills before we go into this next area. Right. Right. All right, then. Let's give everyone their equipment and let's get going. Uh, you are definitely taking Ancestors Map and Ancestors Scroll. You need the Padlock of Transference as well. As Do you need accuracy? How's your accuracy? You've got Paranomania as well, which could actually be annoying. Um, 105 in this area, so anything with 10 or more dodge, has, or anything with more than 10 dodge has a chance to be missed. By base, they'll have like 5 to 7 in this area, and just dodge enemies, they'll have like 18. Alright, alright, that's probably fine. It's probably fine for you as well. 
you might, yeah, your accuracy is actually garbo trash from hell. So you probably need the focus ring. I'm thinking maybe the dazzling charm on you as well. Yeah. And then backline, you just need damage. So you'll be taking Dismas's head. You'd be taking the Unholy Slayer's ring if I had it, but I don't, so I'm not going to be taking that. Um, Quickening Satchel's probably not necessary here. With the nine speed that you have, we're probably in for the run. Negative 20% stress in the runes. It's fine. Hmm. I actually can't find anything I desperately want to give you. I mean, I could trade my Ancestor's Scroll here for a Junior's Head. It's 10% stress more, but it's also 3% more on healing skills. That's probably not even going to make a difference. It's probably not going to hit the right breakpoint to do so. All right. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. I just really don't know what I'm going to do with this backline here. Could give you a Feather Crystal. I really need some accuracy trinkets because if we start missing on some of these hits, we could actually be just screwed. So what do I put on you for secondary? It's definitely not the protected padlock. I don't want you slower. You're a stunner. Uh, yeah, negative 10 to stress, negative 4 to dodge, plus 4 to accuracy. So I've got accuracy on the stunners and then everyone else has just got the ability to kind of keep themselves around. Cool, cool, cool. I've locked people away in all of the available dungeons. And is there anyone who needs some stress healing? Yes, there is. No. Glad I checked that. And now we can go. Now remember, portraits first, then crests, then deeds, then money. Okay. Took way too much holy water last time, so I'll probably just take the three. Three? Yeah, three. And didn't end up taking enough skeleton keys last time, so I'm actually going to take a full stack of six. Medicinal herbs, no. Bandages, no. Anti-venom, no. Full stack of shovels, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, shouldn't need more. And three full stacks of torches. All right. Let's go. Absolutely certain. Hang on, have I got a nighttime ambush prevention? I do in Sanctuary. But the thing is, Zealous Vigil's so much better. <sighs> Fine, I'll go get Zealous Vigil. Uh, I know, I usually do all of this prep before the episode, but I convinced myself that there's a thing that I hadn't considered. Good. All right. Da, da, da. And then one stack of those. Slightly less than a stack of this. Slightly less. And we are good. Good, good, good. Good. I just want everyone to have their level 4 skills for a couple of reasons, right? Level 4 is oftentimes where the different DOTs jump to the next point. Like the Blight is going to jump to probably 4 per round for 4 rounds. Uh, four rounds, Pace five out rounds, the halls six rounds? Of your lineage once four rounds, it is four rounds. Cool. Now, Oren. But more so than that, you get accuracy almost every single time you level up a skill, and accuracy is a huge problem for us. We don't have accuracy trinkets. Uh, I can avoid that room, which would allow me to avoid backtracking, so... Let's just go in here, loot quite quick. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Okay, so I'd only be revisiting that room. Hang on. I could actually end on that. Wait, hang on. Backtracks two. Backtrack three. I could go in either direction from here either. Uh, this gives me more scouting opportunities. Before I get my first combat, that is. Which is important because more scouting opportunities... No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, more scouting opportunities before I get my first combat gives me the lower chance to be surprised by it. A blazing star is born. Good. There's our first combat. 
And second. I don't know if we'd be prepared for a shambler. Uh, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't be. Just because not everyone's on level four. Sorry, no one's on level four, but not everyone. In fact, again, no one has level four skills. Safety. Which is what I particularly want. Stun him. Oh god, these guys have 24 dodge. Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna have a real rough time hitting some of these. Thank you for resisting the flight. Thankfully, we've got the focus ring on here, otherwise there's no chance. I was... Our damage range was 10 to 19, so I was basically certain we were gonna kill there. Really sad we didn't. Yeah, 66. Confidence surges eh. as the enemy crumbles. I can never really rely in this mission on the Vestal hitting. Unfortunately. Nice dodge. Mm, this is the worst part. Oh, thank you. Whew. That could have easily been a crit, and that as just would have made me the saddest falls, man of all time. The faint hope blossoms. I've actually got a higher chance of hitting with my stun, so we'll roll that instead. It's a lower chance for the crit, Destroy but I just need to make sure that I hit. Give me that loot. Pump torch, go in, fight room, win fight, scout map. Ooh, hello, Bone Commander. Hell yeah. Okay, so 110, 130. I've only a 60% chance to stun if I roll it against the Bone Commander. It's really important we stun you, but I hate that Manacles is so low in its ability to stun. I'm going to roll it. Damn it. Like, I naturally expected that, but still. Ugh. Okay. 69% chance to hit. Come on, don't let me down, meme number. Mm, thank you. Give them no quarter. Stun chance is what? 40% there. Stun blow. Oh, it was 60% as well. Ah. If only I could rely on my stuns, then I would have stunned both of you because the bone marksman would have already been stunned. Uh just straight damage dealing. I'm not going to be blighting here. Okay. That bone command is going to be a problem. Whoa. Negative 30% to stun resist. Is that going to be particularly effective? Their formation hmm. is broken. Down the offensive. Get him! Thank you. Woo. We also really need better stun trinkets. Our stun trinkets are garbage. Ten percent here, twenty percent there. I need paralyzes crest for you know, and I need God. Facade just rolling high damage every single time. Not critting. A wee bit of annoyance, but. High damage this. We should take that turn. Alright. As long as we act first, we'll be fine here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, that had to happen. Both of our characters that are probably going to act faster than the Bone Commander are stunned the as well, so I'll actually have the to the kill you. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? We're going to have so much loot over the course of this dungeon. I'm just going to clean up the inventory of the things that I intend not to keep. Okay. Room battle with Curio is nice. Worst case is the sarcophagus. Even best the case is an Eldritch Altar. Seems bent on preventing passage. What the fuck's... Alright, come on. Eldritch Altar. Yes! 
That bone veteran I might actually heavily target here. So I'm going for that blight because it has the ability to bypass that stealth because I was targeting two people at the same time and bone veteran down. Beautiful. Stunned. As the light gains purchase. Spirits are lifted. Very nice, very nice. Frontline gets stunned clear. as well. Oh, maybe. Could scarcely be better. Don't crit. Exposed to a killing blow. All I asked was that you don't crit. Like, was that asking for too much? I don't feel like that was asking for too much. Obliterated. In return? It's time for me to start critting. Dudley's also got to self-heal and remove some stress there. Because worst case scenario, they get bayonet jab and it's not even that bad. Ooh. Thank you for Val warding. That's actually going to be really helpful. I'm about to stun you. And you basically just wasted your turn. Good work, dude. I'm actually just going to roll the blights here. Give myself a lot of different chances to crit this enemy. Eh. Okay, now I should start group healing. Three for two more rounds, that's fine. Should I leave you up? Eh, probably not. And them. Self heal. Vestal does group. Nice. Everyone's getting reasonably tumped off. As long as we don't get crit here, we should be fine. Nice. Very, very nice. Um, Don't Bulwark should have basically no chance to crit me anyway. Vestal mm. next, please. Yeah, get that group heal off before we kill. Can be healed. Bump him. Never hidden. All right, who has the negatives? We want to remove the most. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Flawed relief, release. I don't care about. God fearing. I don't care about. Claustrophobia. Eh, sickly. I don't really care about either. To be honest. Uh, Kofobe. Eh, it's actually a little bit limiting in terms of the party I can keep you on. Stress eater. Paranomania, I definitely want to get removed. Uh, Deviant Taste, don't care. Dud Hitter, don't care. Kofo, meh. Lazy Eye, definitely care because both of yours are ranged. Um, and Unquiet Mind. Don't really care about Unquiet Mind. In town, I would lock out Lazy Eye and lock in Hard Noggin. You've only got Deviant Tastes. Yeah, well, one in three of these I want to remove and one in three of them I'm okay with removing, so... This seems like the best result for me. Paranomania got removed. Hell yeah. Reasonably happy about that. Not reasonably happy about the fact that every single piece of loot we encounter is garbage. Nice. These twitching maggots are actually quite quick. One down. Executed with impunity. No disease, no disease, no disease. Okay, not only no disease, but no stun. Destroyed. Well, well, nice. <laughs> Alright. As long as we don't miss, we are fine. Okay, roll the higher crits. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. I, mean, I don't really want those busts. Not going to get rid of them yet, though. Easily could, and I don't think it'd be a mistake, but... Um, single Curio? Oh my god. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 4, 12, 4, 16. Okay, we've got 19 rooms total, which means I can avoid two rooms and still have, quote-unquote, full scouting. Um, so I'm also going to dodge this room here. We've scattered everything reasonable around it. Doesn't matter. 
I will give Facade the full plus 30 here. I feel like it's actually not extraordinarily unlikely that I can finish this dungeon without camping once. If I find a secret room, I'm definitely not going to have space to keep all of the things there, so I'll have to camp, uh, camp more. Um, yep, shouldn't have thrown away that medicinal herbs ages ago. I probably would have thrown it away by now, because that's a really, really rare thing to encounter, the alchemist's table there. But still... Past me made a mistake, and current me has to own up to it. Yeah. Wealth Ooh. beyond measure. Awarded to the brave and the foolhardy. Okay, alike. we'll take a trinket. Mmm, gotta kill these bone nobles as soon as it's human possible. Slap them. Damn it. Yeah, she's not gonna dodge that. She takes a bunch of extra stress as well. Good crit. Annihilated. Very, very good crit. Yeah. I figured that was probably going to happen. At the very least, it means the bomb next turn is uh, is going to kill. Good. Decimated. Really happy I didn't crit there because I want the vomit next round. God. It's too important that I stop you. Since I killed everyone else, do you unstealth? You do not unstealth. All right. It was super important I made sure the Bone Noble wasn't going to attack there. Even if ultimately it does mean a bit of a waste of an action. All right, a crit. Ugh. It's the perfect. It's the opposite of a crit. Devastating blow. Nice. Ghoulish horrors. Brought low and driven into the mud. Again, bust the least, uh, literally the least important heirloom for me currently, so. Totally happy to drop some. Books. Good lord. Nothing but books. Oh, perfect scout. Good lord. None of these rooms have anything in them. It's insane. Uh, we've actually got increased trap disarm chance here, but it's 80 versus 95. Yeah, should we go? The thing is, technically, this is how I should be doing it. So that my chance is 120. But, gosh, it's annoying and laborious to do. That is, however, technically the correct way to be doing that. Okay, two obstacles. I'm not going back through an obstacle on the other way, so. Um, that means that I know that I brought enough shovels, number one. But number two, it means that if any of these curios require shovels, I can just use one happily. Freed up an inventory slot there. Thank you, hungry friends. Definitely going to pump the torch before we go in here. Probably going to go down to the very bottom here and then loot back on the way up. Hey, Gargoyle. First time we've actually seen one so far. Gargoyles have really low health, but reasonable protection, reasonable dodge, reasonable speed. So I'm effectively just going to be trying to light them up. That stun guarantees that Gargoyle dies. Actually, just try and stun both the gladiators. Hey, the way one is down. Lit. The path is clear. Two. We require only the hey. strength to follow it. Usually, the primary target here would be the cultist acolyte, and I actually can't even contest it. It still probably should have been. I got a little bit over interested in killing the gargoyle. The gargoyle isn't even that bad. It has a stun, and it has like a small damage across party, but it's not, it's not that much. Nice. Very, very nice. Gently. 
This is how a life is taken. And all of that happened before Dudley even moved. Hell yeah. So we got the stun on the cultist and Chantress, who also moved late. Good lord. Oh, right. Of course. This area has marks again. It's just the cultist gladiators that, like, higher crit, I think, on marked targets. Not entirely Impressive. certain. Yeah, crit for 42. How much you do that while people are still alive rather than just about to die? Hmm? No, I didn't think you would. You're dead before you get another action. Cultist Glattery in the front. He's not too much of a problem, but I will be stress healing myself. I've in got to take some action to stress heal myself. Victory. Probably not going to stun. That's okay, though. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Those gems, though. Right. Not going to loot this. We'll loot it on the way back. God, can we get some not garbage curios up in here? Up in here? Otherwise, you're going to make me lose my mind with no specific direction. Okay, so I've learned it's probably a particularly important thing to have someone on each team who can... What? Your, stun resist, your blight resist, sorry, is 40. Yours is... Okay, so that was only a 20% chance to not be stunned there. Okay. Not be stunned, not be blighted, rather, on the Outlaw Fusilier. Why'd you only take one damage? You don't have any... Huh. Staunch. Alright. Well, next round is definitely Vomit on the mid two. Inspiration and improvement. Doesn't necessarily need to be that anymore. Written one of my people as well. Masterfully executed. Yup. <sighs> and you've already lost your stealth on the back line as well. Going for the group heal here as much as I would like to use anything else. I can't guarantee anything else works because Monville is Monville and Monville's the worst. At accuracy. Actually, probably going to lunge next round. Self-heal a wee bit. We're going to take a round of self-heals here. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. Primarily, I just wanted to get that stress heal off. Next round is probably Poison Danger on the front line. Yup. If I can let you act once, we can take a free action here. No. It's too likely they crit. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Six busts for a blight charm. Fine. Probably should have looked for a way to start another stack of gold though. torch before we go in, so we get as good a surprise chance as is humanly possible. This bone spearman needs to go down literally instantly, so there's the stun. We're going to be blighting follow. Oh. Well, what I've just learned is they quarrel, sir. We'll respond in kind. If I can find a way to deal three to six damage here. Ooh. Yes, there we go. Bone Spearman's down. And I got the self heal as well. Just so efficient. We'll stun there. This bone conscript means nothing to me, frankly. It could be there until the end of time. But I'll never, never care. Um, that's really the only effective thing I can do here. Okay. Oh, it's exactly.
exactly what I didn't want to see. Oh well. One more down. Still need to be taking every stress healing action available, so good thing we just crit there. That's a stress healing action. I would stun you, but I'm terrified that in stunning you, I will deal enough damage to cause you to die to the next uh, light trigger. Oh, Surgical precision. Surgical precision, indeed. Don't crit. Nice. Um, and then we'll just take a free round of actions. That enemy's already dead. I would blight here, but there is... Like, especially if I crit, which is the result I would be hoping for, I would kill. Twenty-four and twenty-seven. We'll go on the back line now, especially because that enemy is holding two enemy. That character, rather, the vessel is holding two stress increasing trinkets. Drop a single torch, but the thing. I mean, I probably don't need eight torches for us though. The plan was to turn the light out and go all the way up to the top, but gosh, the loot in this area just sucks. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. Drop the busts for the emeralds. Yikes. I really have to hope there's a secret room. Otherwise, we've just got the world's most garbage dungeon. Nothing but books. I went to the ruins, not the library. Jeez. Mm-hmm. Here's the final definitely necessary shovel. So next time I can throw away loot, I can throw away a shovel instead. Should I want to? Now here I'm gonna rest for the first time in this dungeon. A moment of respite. A chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Zealous vigil for some stress relief as well as the nighttime ambush prevention. Um, we have one religious. Yeah. Night moves for the extra scouting chance. I mean. We've got Stand Tall and Encourage. We don't actually have that many battle buffs here, so. Hang on. We go back to you. Kill it to Stand Tall. I mean, six isn't even that much. Is there anything necessary I could get here? Eldritch Blood, that's not necessary. That's not necessary. Zealous Speech as well, sure. Just give everyone a stress buff. That is to say, a buff to their stress resist. Surprised. Nice. Um, Bone Marksman goes down first. A Easiest prioritization strike. choice of my life. <laughs> okay, game. Okay. That stun goes through, we can just kill this Bone Conscript. To make this the easiest fight of my life. So you've got 95 on resist. Yeah, I'll still roll that. It's 25% chance to work. It's also the best damage I can do without transforming. I don't want to transform. Alright. As long as the enemy doesn't crit and give us a bunch of stress damage here, we're fine. The least you could have crit. I love it. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I am actually almost in awe of how garbage the loot across this entire dungeon is. At least we have that Eldritch Altar. At least. I'm 
not sure if this dungeon is even going to pay for itself in terms of my provisions. That had a chance to kill, whereas the Blight was never going to kill. Good lord, the dodges. How quickly the tide turns. Yeah, how quickly that tide turns indeed, Wayne. Indeed. Figured that was probably going to happen. Ooh, that's real bad. Would have stunned the Brawler were it not for that. Alright, if we could just chill. Just chill, please? Jeez. Okay, two successful hits. My accuracy is now insane. We've got the extra stun resist. It's really effective to blight each of those targets, so sure. Well, if they do have to be stacking their stress on someone, I would prefer them stack their stress on the character who can remove it from themselves. So I guess, you know, fill your boots. Eat your heart out. And other such phrases. Good lord, Monville, please. Monville, please, it's not funny anymore. I hate Precision that that missed. And power. Just the action economy there. Oh, it hurts. Fine. Put him out of range of just getting ridiculously kind of imbecrit down to Death's Door. Seven to thirteen, roll seven, naturally. Eh. Good misses. The ground. And breaks. with that crit, that's a guaranteed kill. Easy. You should just start Ooh, nice. healing and stress healing. Got bugger all chance to stun the cultist gladiator at that point. Nice. I'm going to use that stun and... Whoa. Okay, we dodged up that stun. And blight from the next round in order to wait for the kills so that I can do some stress healing. That was going to be the end of those sentences. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay, this suck off can give a negative, so if I'm going to have it give a negative to anyone, I should have it give a negative to the person who has so many negatives that it doesn't matter. Well, okay, it does matter if it replaces one with a worse one, but it could also just give me something like a negative that I don't actually care about, and that's better for me. Faces of the damn. If we can stun here, I'm going to be I'll so happy. When I said so happy, apparently all I meant is... It's extremely good. You do need to focus damage on the Collector as much as it's humanly possible here. It is extremely good that we got the stun on the first round, but even more than that, that we have a Grave Robber, because we will now, at all times, be able to target the Collector. Nice! 10 to 19 on the damage roll, and we rolled the big one. Uh, my stun chance here is yeah, literally 10%, but I don't want to transform. Do I want to transform? I do, actually, for this fight. Because I'm invariably going to need to start raking anyway. Good crit! Baby. When I say invariably going to need to start raking, I'm talking about exactly this, right? When the enemy has... The All these the summon down that I need to start working against. That should have been a stun. Never that hidden. obviously should have been a stun. That's not even close. It's not even marginal. It just should have been. Thankfully, we got away with it, but that doesn't make it correct. <laughs> uh, kind of fine that you roll that head games there because we... Again, that should have been a stun. That one, I am going to get punished for. Rightly so, as well. 
Rightly so. Raker across the front two lines has the eh, possibility of killing him. Only summons one. That's a Vestal, though. <laughs> we need to kill her as soon as it's humanly possible. Lest she heal the Collector. No one to target. Thank you for dodging. Great. You don't even get the self-heal out of that. That is so big. Stun off that guard. <laughs> Knew that was going to happen. One Vestal down. All right. Rake is the first thing probably going to happen next round. I can't believe that we missed that. I was trying to convince myself to lunge there, but at the same rate, I definitely didn't want to do that and not crit. Now, that's a collect call, actually, so that's... Yeah, that's the game over. As the ruler <laughs> Especially that happens, jeez. <laughs> the rats prepare to feast. Oh boy. Right. This expedition at least promises success. I do want literally everything I have in my inventory at the moment. I guess holy water the least. Fine, there we go. Sacks contents are mine. It's a bunch more money. Didn't want to drop any of the stack of money because I was actually thinking exactly that. Like, what if I suddenly start looting a bunch of money? Disarm, Curio, Room Battle, Curio. Uh, this is where I would be using the holy water. That said, If I'm comfortable with it, I can actually use this or try to use this for stress removal. Uh, for not a stress removal, for a negative quirk removal. Nice. You're absolved of a sin and you lost stress eater. Cool. I feel like my stress management, stress management, sorry, my negative quirk management in the early game would have been a lot better if we. If we had good early Warrens missions, but we've had no good early Warrens missions. All of the Warrens missions have just been garbage. So I haven't gone to the Warrens, and the Warrens is the area that has probably, other than the Cove, the most prevalent negative quirk removal. Exact damage on that kill there as well. This is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about desperately not wanting to miss, but not having accuracy trinkets and not having the higher level skills. There's literally... Well, not literally. Okay, there was a 10% chance that I stun on the Bone Commander there. I'm not going to roll that. Mortality clarified in a single She's strike. She's gonna get stunned. Come on. Hey, nice. If we can steal every second action from a bone commander, that is that's frankly insane. Good crit. Uh, stun on that line, and you're still alive, unfortunately. We've got literally no more battles until, like, the end of the dungeon. <laughs> oh, perfect. As long as the Arbalest acts after my abomination... Let's come in here. Yep. 
commander is dead as well. Yep. Uh, it's going to be better for me to lose some stress. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit unless inordinate exsanguination be considered a virtue. I do want to start another stack of gold, but well, I guess I don't need torches anymore. All right, I uh, should turn the light out. Darkness Loot. closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Easy. There's some. Um... Yeah, we'll finish in that one space over there. Oh god. I threw away the holy water. I'm so sad. That would have been so many gems. And I'll rest here just for the stress heal. Gathered close in tenuous firelight and uneasy companionship. Prevent the nighttime ambush. I mean, this is basically as flawless as flawless gets. We'll move out into this room. I'll turn out the light before we loot this. And, now, and then just leave home with no stress on dominion. any character whatsoever. Hell yeah. Black as death. The shifted corridors and sloped walls of our ancestry are beginning to feel familiar. We didn't even leave that much loot behind, and we've still got basically nothing here. That's two stacks of crests, half a stack of busts, half a stack of uh, deeds. As it turns out, I definitely did mess up throwing away those early busts. Not that it makes a difference, but still. Mankind's Hater, eh, probably the least valuable of the Hater versions. Stress Eater, Last Gasp replaced Healer's Gift. Healer's Gift is not just plus to healing skills. It was plus to healing skills during camping. Plus 20% in particular. Uh, so it's not that great. Plus one speed at low HP. Probably good. A fresh irritant to some. A sanguine memory to me. Okay. None of you changed for the negative. Excellent. Everyone here is now level four also giving them the best resistances they can basically have at any point. Now what? 20 and the portraits was 24. I can trade in some busts in order to get enough portraits for it. I'm not going to get everyone armor. Does that mean I take on the Miller next episode? Paranomania, Fragile, Manslayer. Yeah. Spiritual, Fear of Mankind. Yeah. Low draw, tough? I don't know about any of y'all. Yeah, I'm not going to be taking anyone from the cabins there. Let's have a look at the Nomad Wagon. Man Eater Shield as well. Man Eater Shield, what? Uh, Guardian Shield, Man at Arms only, very rare. Looks like this has been changed. Didn't it used to have a negative associated with it? Anyway, it's just for someone who stands. Uh, it's for a Man at Arms that stands in the back line and just guards all of their teammates. But at that rate, you can only guard, bolster, and. Is that it? Is that literally the only. Two things that a man and arms can do from the back line. How about you tell me, Curtis? Curtis, you can bellow. You can also defender and command and bolster. Plus 15% damage while guarded. Ooh, that's actually a lot better than it used to be. Buff target for plus five dodge and negative 10 stress. I wonder if a backline defensive man at arms is like a thing now. Hmm. It might actually be a quote unquote viable thing. Let's see. Ooh, Mooncloak's not bad. Protect yourself against the worst case scenarios. Brawler's gloves, we just got another one of those. No crit whatsoever, but a bunch of damage. Moon ring, hell yes. Totally about that life. Um, but at the same rate, oh my gosh. There's these cove missions. This one has a bunch of Ds attached to it as well. But mostly, it's got the thing from the stars, as well as it's ramping up to clear a path to the next boss in this area, the un uh, the sunken crew. I could easily go there. Is there a ridiculous trinket on the farmstead? Fleet Florin. I mean, Fleet Florin's good. It's really good, in fact, for the antiquarian. 
but it's not like desperately necessary in all circumstances. Moon Ring is just way, way too good for low light dungeons. Plus 15% damage as well, plus 10 accuracy is insane. It just depends how many low light dungeons I'm really going to be running. I don't think that many, really. At least not until after I complete the darkest dungeon. So if that's the case, then probably thing from the stars in the next episode. That's all tomorrow, Ryan Problems. For the moment, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Darkest Dungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.